dear friends researchers and experimenters of instrumental trance communication. Today I would like to introduce you to an audio DSP filter that I have built and use for filtering paranormal voices. The heart of the filter is a DSP module called NIDSP1901. This module is distributed by the company BHI, and it is a small audio DSP noise cancelling unit that is used to clean up noisy speech signals to give improved speech clarity in noisy conditions. The module processes the incoming signal and uses known speech and noise patterns to differentiate the speech from the noise. The unwanted noise and interference is then attenuated to leave only speech. The complete filter with the 5 channel equalizer, the low and high roll off filter and also an audio amplifier module with the LM386, were built on a large breadboard. I've had to use a few, or better, a lot of cables to connect everything together. It was not easy to get the overview. All current informations, for example DSP level, or audio overload, are displayed by using a 10 segment LED bar graph. I implemented this display with a piggyback board, since the space for the controls on the front panel was unfortunately limited. I wanted to see the audio spectrum, so I built a simple real-time audio spectrum analyzer using an Arduino Nano, and, an SH1106, 1.3 inch, OLED display. Then, I used a transistor to amplify the Arduino Nano audio input. Here are some pictures of the setup of the potentiometer board for the equalizer, and after that you can see the boards for the different switches. First rough tests for the mechanical assembly of the LED bar graph display. Finally, it became a piggyback board assembly.
It was not easy to combine both boards in such a way that they finally fit together both, electronically and mechanically. With my laser machine, it is the M-Blazer 2 from the Darkly Labs company, which consists of a 5 watt laser diode. I labeled the front panel. The front panel is made of aluminium, and I sprayed the surface with a black spray. This makes it very nice to see the inscription on the lasered aluminium surface. The air compressor is a bit noisy, but the use is important. The laser markings become much cleaner and more legible with the compressor on. I think the result is something to be proud of. Here you can still see all the individual modules distributed on the table. Soon, they will be installed in a housing. And now, everything has been installed in the housing, as well, as all the cables and connectors connected in the right place. It's not easy such a wiring, but it's fun when everything finally works. The project is completed. I worked on this unit for almost one and a half years, but it was worth it. The following is a short filter audio test. How it sounds. In the next video, I will demonstrate the DSP filter in action. I hope you are interested and like it so far. Stay tuned.